High School 46, we are setting up beehives at our school. And right now we're trying to figure out the best place to put them. We are thinking that near the vegetable garden is the best spot. I know there's nothing really growing there right now, but for the future. So here we are on the side of the portable and I have set them up on two layers of cinder blocks. And this is because it needs to be up off the ground to prevent various rodents from jumping in there and preventing snow from getting it all wet inside of there. So this is the stage where I am. I need to make sure that this is level. That means that it has to be perfectly flat on the ground. Okay, so this, this tool is called a level and it shows me whether or not this contraption is level with the ground. And it looks like, according to this bubble right here, I need to slightly move it up a little bit like that. Um, okay, so this is, a, this is actually quite hard. I either have to like build up some dirt underneath these or I'm taking the easy way and I purchased these things, which are shims. And I'm thinking I'm just going to try placing it under the top layer of cinder blocks. Let me try. What does that do? Oh, that looks, that looks good. That's almost right in the center. So I'm going to do the same thing on the back end. Let's see if I can do this. It's very heavy. In the middle? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, now I need to check this way. We've learned in the past that bees can have too much moisture in the hive over the winter. But, wow, this is great. This is not tipping backwards. If it were tipping backwards, the bubble would be over there, but it's right in the middle, so this is actually perfect. This is great. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the, the actual hive box on here. We do not have bees yet. We're picking them up tonight, but we're gonna get this all set for tomorrow. So here's our first deep frame, and I'm going to set it right on this bottom tray right here. Okay, so inside of this hive right now, we have a hive feeder. I'm going to be filling this up with one-to-one -one sugar water because that's what the bees are gonna to need to eat. I'm gonna see if I can leave in these three empty frames. This is plastic right here. This is what they're gonna build their wax comb on. And then when we get the bees, we're gonna be able to put them all in here. Or there's gonna be five or six frames of bees, which you'll see tomorrow. And we will be inserting them right in the hive here and closing it up. How are we gonna close it up? Well, we have Right here is an outer cover, and this is an inner cover. Huh. What do you think? Do you think we should put it like this? Or like this? Probably like this. I think that's the right way because of this. Yeah. So that means that the bees are able to exit out this little hole right here as well as the bottom and then we have our cover which I have to rip the wrapping off of which will go right here and we're almost done setting up we have to add oh here they are our entrance reducer right now all of the bees can enter and exit through this big hole but right now they're not ready for it to be that open yet so we need to put in this entrance entrance reducer and this can be either this big, this size of an entrance, or this size of an entrance. And this is where we are right now. It needs to be tiny. That, way's, that way the bees can get used to where they live. They can orient themselves and get ready for their new home. So this, uh, this hive is all set up. This one's ready to go. And we'll be seeing this one tomorrow when we put the bees in their house. Talk to you later. <laughs>